guys! So basically I decided to do this video because I've seen a lot of people on YouTube doing videos for um, artist alleys but there were artists so um, since I'm a cosplayer I don't have any art um, to distribute like big prints or like uh, books or maybe like um, art book or something but I do sell my own stuff so I decided uh, to do this video which is like a con alley prep but for cosplayer um, as well as my uh, setting up on the booth and how I do things and try to work uh, with um, not the usual metal wires people use but basically with other handmade or stuff where you can basically find um, anywhere so I will show you my little prep and how I put my stuff like my jewelry and my big props and how I distribute everything so this is the first day and I'm packing up everything for the con since tomorrow it will be the day where I set up my booth normally um, so I'm gonna give you like a little tour now I'll take you with me Okay, so I think I'll, I'll start showing you guys what exactly I have. So uh, basically the most important stuff are these two awesome plastic containers which I got for like 3 euros. And basically um, over here I have my jewelry stuff. I have like my metal wires, some ready keychains, flowers, um, like rings, metal rings and attachments, miscellaneous stuff. And I also have here my ready keychains. Um, some fillers, my phone charms, my pins, I do have pins, um, my pins, um, some uh, toothpicks and uh, wooden um, stuff that they help me and some additional like uh, attachments and stuff. Um, I have more fillers over here. So they're super handful because I can close them up and take them anywhere if I want to uh, make anything. And also I have this where I have all my super premium ready-made stuff. Actually, I got this from like um, Jello Sweets. <laughs> um, but it's super convenient because it's round and basically can fit all my um, big keychains and like big stuff and not filled packed so it's super convenient i got this from jellos um then i have this where i usually put my uh key rings like i just you know do this put it through and if you like lift it up it looks nice uh and smooth and how you can put it up you can use this these are for frames for frame portraits so I have two of these and I'll show you later my magnet one. Um, over here I have my llamas which I don't store like I just have them here because they're so big and I got like every bigger one over there. Um, but they're big so I don't basically store them anywhere I just put them with me in the car like this. And then I have my mystery boxes and some more stuff over here. They're in my big Blitzcon bag which I got from Gamescom but I don't know where you can find this. And then I have a bag um, with all my uh, little things for my jewelry and my soaps and a big file with my pictures and stuff. Um, which I just have <laughs> in like a plastic supermarket bag. Over here, I do have my doll, which usually I take and I throw something over her. In this case, I have this hoodie, which I no longer want and I want to sell it over there. Um, I have this Fortnite box, which sometimes I do add things inside there until I guess it's sold and make another one. And then this is something very useful. Um, this is actually my mom found um, and they're like kids body types. I guess I don't know <laughs> um, so like I can put my necklaces over here um, I just add like a normal pin to adjust the height of the like the length of the necklace and like I can have up to five or six big necklaces over here 
Additionally, I have this awesome wooden box uh, with like six cavities where you can put things inside and like even add things on top, which is super nice and super convenient. And then over here, I have my two main boxes. Over here, I have my stickers. Even though I don't draw, I do sell my stickers made from other people. And here I have like my little keychains, bookmarks, decoden cases, um, like Pokeball balls. And here I have some hats and some more jewelry, but they're like categorized in this over here. I think I have my Witcher ones, I think. And going through here. Basically, I have um, another thing. It's my magnet one. It's super convenient because you can um, just, uh, you know, put my magnets and write my prices and like edit out everything. I can also write my name on it, which is super convenient. And like I can change the prices the whole time. Over here, I have my um, soap base. I can have like three different prices so I can adjust everything as I want. So that's super handful as well. Probably my most expensive one. Like I bought this for five euros. And then I bought this from Tigers. It's like a um, earring stand. As you can see, I have like already had it, a lot of my earrings. Um, it's super convenient because it has like four sides and you can add all the matches like you want. And like really, it's super nice because people can actually see that. This is a box that I'm not gonna use because it has my pins inside. Um, over here it's a stand, usually for keychains and not necklaces because it's a mess over here. Over here it's for bracelets. I got this very cheap as well. And then I have another case, um, which my little feelers as well. I have some earrings, like some ready earrings over here. And then if I need anything at the time, um, I can just make more earrings or make more keychains. And this is super handful to have. And as you can see here, I do haven't finished just yet. So I have some chains and like I want to finish up stuff until tomorrow. <laughs> So, and then like here, I just have this and like add all my non-made stuff. And like if I need any kind of balls, I can take it from here. Um, I'm going to show you more uh, of my stuff tomorrow because basically tomorrow will be the day where we set up everything. Hi guys. So today is the day that we set up our booth. As you can see, our car is pretty much packed. Um, like I think we're... Oh, we didn't forget anything. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you how we're gonna set up our booth and how exactly we're gonna put our things in order and see how it goes. Okay, so we finally reached our booth and I'm gonna show you a bit of what is going on. <laughs> um, so we got like a double table over here. These are the two tables that we have. We're behind the retro game, which is awesome. And over here we have some um, more retro stuff that they're gonna take shoots and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna give you like a small tour and I'm gonna show you how I set up everything. Okay, so the first thing I did is actually set up my cloth table. My two convenient yeah, cloth tables because I didn't want to look too bad. And here is the rest of a con. This is basically like the artist alley. It's huge, it has so many people. Over there, it's a toilet, and here is retro things I showed before, and the retro games. I'm a little dummy. The convention is over and <laughs> that's pretty much it. Um, I always have this huge bag where I put all the little boxes inside. Um, I just emptied this one and as you can see it's like a nuclear bomb fell into my workshop. So what I do after I came back, let me show you the very dirty side. Um, I just open everything up, um, gather everything, throw trash, which, you know, I put me like super messy all over my bags. 
Um, so yeah, now it's cleaning time and preparation for the next one. I hope this video was helpful, guys, and if you want, you can make your own cosplay alley booth, and if you have any questions, I will be more than happy to answer them on my social media, in my Facebook, and my Instagram. Until then, bye!